to walk through that process. In this case, I am going to take one of the pages I already have, simply copy it and use it kind of as a template in order to do it. And we're going to go ahead and add an XC90 hybrid to our, our list of cars. And adding here descriptions and details about it. The idea with the new editor is to really enable that everything is one click away. We have really done a focus on usability. I'm gonna pick an image here to place on that page. And that one click away makes it really simple for me to go in, make changes, modifications, really reducing the time that you're going to be spending in adding information. So once we have our new page set up here, we can leverage the new simulator. So let's go ahead and look at that new simulator. And here you'll look at what it looks like on a web page, switch over and look at what it looks like on an iPad. We can go ahead and rotate that as well, make sure that we're validating what that experience looks like. So the simulator allows me to kind of walk through each of those different channels that we're providing, in this case, phone, mobile, and web, and validate what that experience looks like on each of them and how it's going to be different. So once I've had a chance to take a look at it, make sure that it's okay. Seem relatively good with that. Let's go ahead and go back to that home page and want to simply take and drag a new component add it to that home page here at the bottom. I want to make sure that we're advertising this new car. So we're going to go ahead and grab that, drop it in for that XC90 hybrid, and we've modified that home page. So after we've gone through, again, kind of that one click away, super simple for me to walk through it. Next thing I want to do is look at performance. How is that page performing in some page insights? So this allows me to get detailed page insights over time, to look at conversion rates, to look at time on page, and ultimately look at things like bounce rate. How do I improve that? So really giving you insights into those pages and allowing you to look at those insights based on whatever that channel is, whether it's mobile, whether it's the iPad, whether it's web, and being able to leverage kind of what those look like. Final step here, we're gonna go ahead and publish that in order to wrap up that experience. So again, with 9.3, we are super excited to release that first version of Horizon, the new editing experience. Um, I know it's been a, a long time coming, and we will continue as we move into releases next summer and into the future to enhance that experience and continually add to it. It's been a great area for us to interactively get